Hi everyone. So today we are going to be looking at experimental design. This is a really important skill to have in the world of science because scientists gain information by conducting experiments. So when we are planning experiments, we need to make sure we're going in a very logical order so that it's very well thought out. So number one, the results we get are results that we can trust. And number two, we can share the results we get with other scientists so they can go and test our results, test our experiment, and see if they get the same results that we do so that we know that the information that we gained is accurate, correct information. So not only is this important in the world of science, but like I said, this is a very important thought process to go through because if you are trying to answer a question that you have about the world or how something works, you need to go through a very logical process to make sure you are isolating the one thing that you have a question about, holding everything else consistent and constant, and making sure, again, like I said, that you are getting results that you can trust that truly answer your question. So as we go through today, we are going to be looking at how to design an experiment, but also how to write a, oh, but also how to write a lab report or an experiment write-up. So all experiments, they do start with a question because it's something that you're wondering about. It's something that you're trying to answer. So on this slide right here, what I'm gonna ask you to do is I have a list of different potential questions you can design an experiment for. Take this pink circle right here and drag it around. Is it gonna drag with me? There it is. Drag it around the question that you are most interested in answering. <laughs> 